All right, so good evening. My name is uh, Corporal William Costello. Uh, first name William, W-I-L-L-I-A-M, and last name Costello, C-O-S-T-E-L-L-O. -L -L um, with the Austin Police Department, and at 6.38 um, p.m. tonight, we received a call of a disturbance uh, in the 1100 block of Estes, uh, which is behind us. Um, Austin police officers responded on scene pretty quickly, within about four minutes, along with EMS, and we discovered a 26-year-old black male um, suffering from an apparent um, stab wound. Um, EMS uh, started treating that male and transported him to uh, Del Seton Hospital, where he succumbed to his wounds and is deceased. Um, that was approximately about 40 minutes later he was deceased. Uh, while we were still on scene here assessing what we got and starting to investigate and identify witnesses, uh, we had set up a perimeter because uh, we were told that there was one or two possible suspects involved. One of those suspects returned to the area and was taken into custody. Um, he is currently um, speaking with the detectives and the outstanding uh, suspect, we're not, we're not sure yet of his level of involvement or even if he was involved at all or his identity. We're still trying to figure all that stuff out. Um, and that is currently all that I have right now. Uh, well, the one suspect that you do have, mm -hmm. um, what was his level of involvement? He, we're still trying to figure out what that level of involvement was. Okay, we know yeah. there's a second suspect. We just we, we believe that there might be a second one. We don't know if he was directly involved in what ended with the injuries or he was just a witness to it all. Or if even, or, or if, well, we're not even 100% sure that there was a second suspect, but there's believed to be a second person involved in this altercation that led to this man's death. The suspect that you've taken into custody, is mm -hmm. there like an approximate age or description for him? I don't, I don't have anything right now about that. Did he that. know the victim? I, I would assume he did, um, based on the fact that they had been, there was a disturbance that led up to the, um, the assault in the street. Like a fight? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know about a fight. I just know about there was, some, there was a lot of yelling that led to it, and then someone ended up getting injured. Do they live in the neighborhood? That I don't know. Um, any of the individuals homeless? Does not believe to be. I don't, I can tell you for sure the, the victim is not. I do not know about the suspect. And just to give us a general idea, I mean, it's really live out here. This is the area where it happened, right here, kind of on this block? No, the street, Estes, is behind you. It's about another block down from here. This, this area is, the reason why they're facing this way is this is where he was taken into custody. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. And I think that was kind of happening as people were starting to arrive. No one, I asked you guys, no one really caught it, but that was, there was a big commotion here, I think, when you guys started Did he say arriving. why he came back? I mean, was he kind of guilty or what? Uh, uh, that I have no clue okay. why he came back. Not right now. The ethnicity of the suspect? Uh, black, I, yeah, the, both parties are black males. Uh, that, that's all I know about. I don't know ages. I just know the victim was 26. 26. Yeah. And where did he get the stunning? That I don't know right now. Any amount of times that he was stabbed, are we, are we aware of that too? No. Okay. I'm sorry, can you start with what happened here? Sure. Um, at uh, 6... 38 today, um, 911, we received a 911 call of a disturbance in the 1100 block of Estes. Um, all APD officers responded within about four minutes of that along with EMS. They found a male in the, uh, in the street suffering from what appeared to be a stab wound. Uh, he was transported to Del Seton Medical Center where he succumbed to those injuries about 40 minutes later. Um, as officers were on scene and starting to investigate, identify witnesses, the crime scene, a male walked up that um, matched the description of the suspect and wanted to talk to it, the police. And so he was taken into custody and he's now being interviewed by the detectives. And the ages? Uh, t the victim is a 26 year old black male and the suspect, I don't know his age, but he, he's a black male. And you said you weren't sure about the motive? Yeah, not motive, no uh, description of injuries, I don't have any of that info yet.
So I know I know we're not exactly sure if mm-hmm. there's a second suspect or yeah. you know what, but I mean the neighborhood you, it, you guys believe to be safe right now. Yeah, yeah. I I. I I don't know the level that these people knew each other, but it does seem like they all knew each other. Uh, so it's just getting to the bottom of who that, who he was. Did DPS respond in any way to this? No. Okay. They didn't yeah. assist or anything. Like yeah, that? no. So the helicopter didn't find the suspect. The suspect just walked up. Yeah, he just walked in. And did he identify himself as the suspect? I, I don't know how it went down right here, uh, with how. Um, I, I do know the officers recognized uh, him as a possible suspect based on descriptions, but I don't know what kind of interaction they had with the police when they were talking. Do you have the weapon? That I don't know right now. Thank you.